Writing linear equations in two variables. Hi class, my name is Manuel Espinosa and in the following video I'm going to explain to you how can you write linear functions when the graph is a given. And the form of the linear function that we are going to use is slope-intercept form. So remember, in the slope-intercept form, both variables are opposite. Y is on one side of the equation by itself, and X is in the opposite side of the equation. M is the slope, is a constant rate, and B is the Y-intercept. So then B is the Y-intercept. So what is the point where the line crosses the Y-axis? If you look at the line, I draw the line in green color. So here you have the y-axis, the horizontal axis, and the vertical axis, the y-axis. The point where the line crosses the y-axis is this point here. So at that point, so this is the point, 0, comma, negative 5. So that means that the y-intercept is the point where the line crosses the y-axis at y is negative 5. So y is negative 5. And then the line increases from left to right. So that means the line goes up from left to right. So what is the direction going from left to right? Okay, so then this line goes up 1, 2, and 3 units, and then across 1, 2, 3, and 4 units. So that means that the slope, remember, is the rise over the wrong. So then rise over wrong. So then the slope equals 3, which is the rise, 3 units up, 4 units across. So then the slope is 3 quarter. So we write 3 quarter multiply x. And then the y-intercept is negative 5, negative 5, plus negative 5, plus a negative 5. Remember when we add a negative number, so that is going to be subtraction y equals 3 quarter x minus 5 is the equation of that line. So then that line could be written as y equals 3 quarter x minus 5. Hi class, my name is Manuel Espinosa and in the following video I'm going to explain to you how can you write linear functions when the graph is not a given. If the graph is, is a given so you can identify, so you can look at the graph and you can identify the, the y-intercept, the point where the line crosses the y-axis. But what about if the graph is not a given? And we have, for example, in number one, a point and the slope. So how can we write the slope intercept form of a line if the point and the slope are given? All right, so then remember, the slope intercept form is y equals m x plus b. So what do we have? We have x and y. x and y are given. This is x and this is y. So that means that x is negative 1, y is negative 3, and the slope is a given. m equals 5. So then we have this, we have the slope, and we have x. So that means the only thing that we are missing is B, the y-intercept. That is the only unknown. So let's do the substitution. Negative 3 replaces y. M is 5. X is negative 1. 
plus b. 5 times negative 1, negative 5. So then negative 3 equals negative 5 plus b. The opposite of negative 5 is positive 5. So we add 5 on the right and on the left side to solve for b. So that means that b equals negative 3 plus 5 positive 2. So then b is positive 2 and the slope is 5. So then the equation of that line that passes through the point negative 1 comma negative 3 with the slope equal 5 is y equals 5 x plus 2. And that's the equation of that line. So in the other example, we are going to write the equation of a line that passes through the point 4 comma negative 5 and slope equals negative 1 half. So remember, y equals mx plus b. This is x, this is y. So negative 5 equals negative 1 half x x is 4 plus b negative 1 half of 4 half of 4 is 2 but negative 1 half of 4 is going to be negative 2 so then negative 5 equals negative 2 plus b the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2 Remember that opposite cancel each other. So adding 2 on both sides, negative 5 plus 2 is negative 3. Now we have the slope is negative 1 half, b is negative 3, so we can write the equation y equals negative one half x minus three and this is the equation of the line that passes through the point four comma negative five and has a slope of negative one half Hi class my name is Manuel Espinosa and in the following video I'm going to explain to you how can you write equations of parallel and perpendicular lines. So you look at this graph, so we have two lines. The green one is y equal to x plus 1 and the blue one is the line y equals 2x minus 5. So the y-intercept of 2x plus 1 is positive 1. So this line goes up 2 units and 1 across. y equals 2x minus 5 has a y-intercept and negative 5. And the line goes 2 units and 1 across. So the slope is the same. And because the slope is the same, so those two lines are going to be always the same distance apart. So they are parallel. The conclusion is that parallel lines always have the same slope. So if the two lines are parallel, it's because they have the same slope. In the example, 2 over 1, 2 over 1. So knowing that, if I know that parallel line has the same slope and we have to write the equation of a line parallel to y equal 4x minus 2 and passes through the point negative 2 comma 2 so we are going to write the other line y equals the slope is the same because they are parallel 4x plus b so B is going to make the difference. So remember, the lines are parallel, but they are not the same line. So B is not going to be the same, but the slope is going to be the same because they are parallel. Now we are going to solve for B. So how do we solve for B? 
using x and y, using negative 2 and positive 2. So we substitute y by positive 2. And x by negative 2. Plus b. So 2 equals. 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. Plus b. The opposite of negative 8 is positive 8. So we add 8 on both sides of the equation. 2 plus 8 is 10. b equals 10. Then the equation of the parallel line to y equals 4x minus 2 is y equals 4x, because remember that they have the same slope, plus 10. So then these two lines are parallel. And this is the answer for that question. So what is the equation of the parallel line to y equals 4x minus 2? In the case of the perpendicular lines, If parallel lines have the same slope, perpendicular lines, look at the blue line, the green line, so they are intersecting, forming a right angle, so they are perpendicular. If because the blue line has a slope 3 halves, and the green line has a slope negative 2 over 3. So then, if two lines are perpendicular, is because they have opposite reciprocals. So one line is 3 halves, positive 3 halves. Then the other one is going to be negative, the opposite, and the reciprocal. So you have to flip over that fraction. Negative 2 thirds. For example, if one line has a slope negative 7 the perpendicular is going to be the opposite positive reciprocal of 7 positive 1 over 7 so that's what opposite reciprocals means so knowing that so we can find the perpendicular line to y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4 So I'm going to write y equals the opposite of negative positive and the reciprocal of 2 over 3 is 3, 3 over 2, x plus b. Now we are going to solve for b exactly in the same way that we did it before, substituting x by 2 and y by negative 3. Multiplying by negative 2, negative 2 times 3 is going to be negative 6, divided by 2 is negative 3. Now the opposite of negative 3, plus 3, plus 3. b equals 0. So then the equation of a line perpendicular to y equals negative 2 thirds x plus 4 and passing through the point 2 comma negative 3 is the equation y equals positive 3 halves x plus 0. But saying 3 half x plus 0 is just 3 half x. So we don't need to write plus 0. And that's the equation of the perpendicular line.
by class thank you for watching